This is Scott the Fix-It Guy working with a Bosch Axis washing machine. And uh, for some reason, it won't go to spin during the cycle. If you set it for spin and you press start, it drains and spins, does great. But when it's doing its cycle, like we're seeing now, fills, agitation, um, they're saying that when it gets to spin, uh, it just doesn't do anything. So we're going to try to figure out why. We'll be running a um, test program that you can get to online. The test program is for uh, these machines. This is saying that the first thing you do is make sure you've rotated this to the off position and then you press the start button and while you're pressing the start button you turn the dial from off to permanent press cold you keep pressing while pressing the start button you keep pressing it for three more seconds and then uh, the door locked light and the rinse spin light will come on and that says that the test program is active and then um, lights will flash once the program starts to tell you the last fault shown and they have a code here that or a chart that shows you uh, what those error codes mean and then if you want to go to a certain test you just press the start button or you I'm sorry you turn you turn the dial press start button and then you go to another test turn to another another click press start button and you can test different functions so it's pretty cool so we'll probably do that next just want to see what happens when the machine is doing its cycle and it's supposed to get to uh, spin okay we've got water in there it's done good agitation I'm going to set it for spin and see what it's going to do when we start the spin cycle so you for spin I'll press start it's going to drain Drain function sounds good. If a machine won't go to spin, sometimes the, something's caught in the drain. It can't get rid of the water. If it can't get rid of the water, it won't go to spin. But in this case, we can hear the water zooming out of here. So that function seems good. And once the water's out, <clears throat> the machine will let it go to spin. If it does spin, then I'm going to go ahead and do a, what they call a comprehensive test where you get the machine to test each feature lasts about two minutes and 20 seconds and then uh, it'll give you fault codes so that's just the sound of an empty sump that's the motor spinning hitting air so it's a little bit louder that's normal and then pretty soon it should fire up and do the spin cycle So it'll probably do a couple of rotations each way to balance the load and then it'll pick up speed. Got it set for a thousand RPMs. So it looks like if you manually set it for spin, spin function is doing good. That means that the drain system works, it means that the motor's working. It means that the belt is intact. It means that the motor control works. So if it isn't spinning during a cycle, there might be something wrong with this timer portion. So spin looks good. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it off and we're going to do a comprehensive test. Show you guys how to get into that. This is a really nice uh, manual that Bosch makes for this model. So this is a comprehensive test. You're going to have us uh, rotate the selector to off. We're going to press the start button. And we're going to move it to this position for three seconds. Okay, let's try it again. So we're going to go start. So power temp boost this one. Wait three seconds. There we go. So these lights flash. 
those fl those flash and now it'll um, it'll go for about two minutes and 20 seconds and it's going to test all the functions so it's letting it's doing the uh, test now of the fill function and at the end of the <coughs> comprehensive test it'll flash here a certain sequence certain rhythm and then we look on the chart and it'll tell us um, what problem it's having. So right now we can see it filling. It's testing the different fill valves. That looks good. Now it's testing agitation while well, it's opening up different different fill valves. Now it's gone right to drain. So it's a pretty fast test. Drain seems pretty good. Seems like it's uh sounds like it, the water is moving quickly. You can see the water going down inside the spin basket. So we got to this test by pressing start and rotating to power temp boost, holding that for three seconds, let go, and just press start and it'll advance this comprehensive test. It tests every function of the washing machine two minutes and 20 seconds. Here's the different error codes. So if the wash light flashes, uh, not during the test, but during when you're just doing a wash, that's the door was left open or it's a faulty door lock. If you're doing a wash and you get the rinse spin light flashing during a wash, that's uh, the water shut off inlet valve is blocked by garbage in the little screen, not getting enough water pressure. If you ran the test like we're doing now and you get rinse speed, I'm sorry, uh, rinse spin and wash flash together, that's a sign that the heating element's having trouble. If while doing your wash you get a door lock flashing, that's a problem with a blocked um, pump, just stuff caught in the pump. That's easy to get rid of. If you get a, during the test, if you get a flashing rinse spin light, then it's a faulty speed control. That's a little module that controls the motor. And if during the test you get a door locked and a rinse speed flashing, that's an indication that you have a faulty control module. That'd be, that'd be expensive. If during the test you get a uh, door locked rinse, spin, and wash all flashing, that's a sign that the uh, wire harness is faulty or the NTC is faulty. The spin cycle. Here's the address for the Bosch manual for this machine. It has all this information and also has how to take the machine apart and uh, how to test different different components. We're going to perform another test. We're going to go press the start button. We're going to go to permanent press cold, hold for three seconds. That starts and then So that seems to be testing the fill valve. I got it. <coughs> Push to warm. That fill valve sounds like it's not filling very fast. Not getting much water showing up. I can hear it coming in though. Could be a clogged uh, inlet screen. So right now it's testing, I have it set for warm, and 
that is testing the dual cold water valve pre-wash, but it seems pretty anemic. That may be why we're getting a problem. We're going to end that test. Next we're going to go to uh, the cold water, and to do that I'll go to drain. Let's start. It's just cold water, normal cold water coming in looks good. That seems pretty solid. I'll turn that off. All right, and I'll rotate it to soak, and that's going to test the dual cold water pre-wash and wash. That's right, soak. That sounds pretty strong too. Let's see the water coming in. Stop that one. Go back to this uh, dual valve. Yeah, it's supposed to be water coming in right here, but there's none. So I think that's the water valve I got to replace. Because you're supposed to, that one's called the uh, dual cold water pre wash. And you're supposed to do a visual check by pulling the dispenser out slightly. And then viewing the right side of the dispenser, you can hear the humming. And you can hear just a tiny bit of water trickling in. So I think that's our problem. Let's see what other tests we can do here. Let's try the hot water valve. We go to spin. By the way, when you do these switches, avoid off because it'll shut the whole thing off. That's hot water. To do a visual check. Uh, look in to the left side. It should be the hot water. Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Let's try the heater. We're going to go to power temp boost. Power temp boost. That's the heater. All right. So that's just heating up the water. You can hear a fan kicking in. Drain pump. Alright. <clears throat> I think the drain pump's working fine, but if you want to test it, you go to temp boost. Heard the fan cut out on the heater. So that gets rid of the water really good. So I think our problem is this dual cooled water valve pre-wash. The little um, electromagnet in there is worn out. It no longer opens up. It's no longer letting water come in. And to test the uh, motor, so the drain sounds good. You go to regular cotton hot. Regular cotton hot, that one. And press start. Let's do that. So turn this one off. Hot. It's going to test the motor. So it showed us agitation. That was good. Works great. It's draining, and now it's going to show us spin. Everything worked, except for the dual cold water valve pre-wash. So that's the part we got to replace. Hope this has been helpful to you, and please subscribe when you get a chance.